There's a lot of about David Icke and 2012 going around at the moment. I've been watching these documentaries and about all these conspiracy theories. And though I really like David Icke, I think he's got a fantastic way of speaking. And I think most of what he says is true from my own experience. I'm 60 years old and I've had quite a lot of experiences and many of them similar to him. But I've spent a life, which I was very lucky to have, where I haven't had to be controlled by people. I've lived out in the bush for a very long time and I could, when I was growing up as a kid I could spend all the time I wanted. I didn't have many rules and regulations. But I'm not, didn't turn bad or do wrong things any more than most. So I was really very happy. I just managed to not be propagandered. And David Icke talks about the propaganda. And I've been talking about the propaganda for years and a lot of people do like to listen. I consider that you do have to deprogram yourself, not add to yourself, but take away all the things that people expect off of you. And the other thing in this world that we got today is that it's full of no's. It's things that you can't do. It's not things that you can do. Most things that you We've got laws and laws and laws and they all say you can't do this and you can't do that. How can you be happy when you can't be a human being? Now I believe that this is a very bad world and there is a lot wrong with it. But I also believe that people in this world are really good. I've had many occasions where people have gone out their way, gone that extra mile and have been really good and it's saved my life quite a few times. So people really are good. Some people are misguided and they do bad things, which we don't want to talk about those. I'd prefer to stay on the positive of how good people are. And that brings me to what I wanted to say. It sort of fits in with David Icke. And things like The Greatest Secret it is what we give out is what we get back in. And I don't know in my life, every time I've given something to somebody, that lasts, the feeling of goodness lasts forever basically. But when you get given something, maybe a new car or something like this, it only lasts a little while then you're bored and you want another one. So it's in the giving that we really fulfill ourselves. Now just imagine a world where everybody gave just a little something. Then it would come back to you because you would be given. So what I'm trying to say here is giving is the way to beat all these conspiracies and all of this badness that is going to come in 2012. And you have to be ready. This is what the change is happening. I believe 2012 is a beginning, not an end. And uh, there will be horrible things because there are people who don't realize that giving is the fulfillment of life. Uh, there is, if you watch a father give to his children or a mother give to her children, they love it. It is or to anyone else. It is something you really get a great deal out of. But in a world where we have to take or count, have we made a profit or have we done this or that, it's we forget that we can give. Now, the other thing we're given is people think about money or think about giving lots and lots of work. Well, my take on giving is that you should only give things that you want to. There are occasions when you have to give something, and it be a sacrifice or it even hurts you a bit, and that's good. But most of the time, I like to think it's a win-win situation, like if you like painting, uh, or you like... Uh, 
singing or you like to fix cars or do any these are things you can give which doesn't cost you anything and you can enjoy these things if you like giving your time to old people or to young people or to people who are disabled we should never if you hate or are not comfortable with people who are disabled it wouldn't be a very good idea for you to give to them so we should find what we want to give and there are so many of us on the planet that nearly everyone likes doing different things what to me is hard work to you might be as easy and what vice versa to what you is hard work well to me would be easy so it's in giving that we can make and change the world and that's one of the changes that is coming up so I've just this is really only a test so I'm just gonna call that and hopefully uh, we can think about just giving but don't give where it hurts unless it's really necessary give that which makes you happy if everyone does that all of the jobs will be done everything will be right with the world and even these bad people if you want to call them that because we're all the same we're not separate I do believe we're all part of the same entity so they are just maybe misguided thinking taking 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 and bringing unhappiness and they think that they're right doing this and that but the way that we can defeat them is not by going and shooting them or blowing them up or even calling them names it is by just giving to the people in our daily life and that giving can be a smile it can be a howdy do it can be pick up something if someone's dropped if they've got a big parcels so the giving is the one for, oh I might just knock off there for a minute I will call that a stop